Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and I am going to impart to you a very important lesson that I have learned today. If you are going to do a video showing people how to do things, it really helps if you hit the record button. I just did a wonderful lesson for you guys. I got it all set. I got everything done. Checked, went to turn off my camera and discovered I had never turned it on. So I have very few supplies left at the moment, but I'm going to go with what I have. Um, today we are making little uh, labels. We're just going to make some labels. I watched a video uh, at Seven Plaza with Margaret, and she made these labels. She was making much larger ones, and she was doing all the decorating, and she was doing all a whole bunch of stuff with them. All I'm doing are the bases. I'm not going to be showing you how to do the anything more than that today. So we're just going to look at bases. And I'm going to just pick one out, keep it out here to kind of use as a reference. Uh, like I said, I've already made a bunch. <laughs> and I have also made a bunch of the bases. And I have made a bunch of the pieces that go on top. Like I said, I was working hard. I did a lot of work. So let's get started. To do this, you're going to need some long strips. These are, this one is an inch wide. I have uh, cut it down to an inch wide. You may notice that I do not have my good paper trimmer. Um, my paper trimmer, sorry, just banged it against my chair, is here and I'm having all sorts of difficulties with it. It is just, it keeps sticking. It's not cutting. It's tearing the paper, even though I have a brand new blade in it. This poor thing is probably 25 years old and it has served me really well and I've en I've liked it. I'm used to it. Um, this pink piece, of course, see it's coming up here at the end. This pink piece is a scorer so I can score things. But as you can see, a lot of it has worn away. So anything over 11 inches you know, it supposedly goes to 17 inches, but anything between 11 and 17 is gone. That puppy's gone. So uh, I think this one's going to be retiring. I went down and borrowed my husband's. It's it's not a very good one. This is uh, He's had this one again for a very long time, and it is not a particularly good one. He's also got paint all over it. But we're going to use it for now for the purposes of our video because at least it will cut a straight line. Uh, so we will also need a glue stick today and I have already used my pencil so I can put that away. For my bottoms I'm just using this blue one and the dimensions are pretty easy. You want it to be one inch wide by two inches in length. So I'm going to come here to the two inch mark and cut them. Maybe. Again, this is not a great cutter, but it's better than my other one because the other one was eating it. And that piece is going to end up getting cut off anyway, so it's okay. So two inches. <laughs> this is just, I'm sorry. This has been one heck of a day. You know, you go two steps forward and one step sideways. So we're, we'll work. We'll make it work. You don't need fancy tools, right? You could do this with pencil and paper and, and go from there. So we'll hang on to that piece. That'll be separate. And uh, we're not quite done with this, so I can't quite put it away. But there we have our bases. So we're going to set those aside. because so we're going to come back to them. And for these, these are a couple of tags that I have. Uh, they were from a digital download. And again, one of those mistakes, I printed out. Uh, two copies of them thinking I had two pay two pieces of cardstock in there and apparently I only had one so it printed on just regular plain old computer paper so they're very flimsy and should I decide I wanted to use them as tags I would have to um, back them and I'm just too darn lazy for that 
so I'm not going to back them. What I did do, however, was put some of the measurements on the back. So these were, just to remind you, one inch wide by two inches long. Am I even in frame? There we go. Two inches wide, or two inches long, one inch wide. These are going to be slightly smaller because we want them to fit inside. So this will be one and three quarters by three quarters. So one and three quarters by three quarters. And I, what I did was I put um, little marks on the top of my paper here because, or the bottom of my paper, I put them little marks, tick marks. I went and, and did them by hand because I right now don't have a, anything that is going to do the measurement for me that is the way I want it. So we did it the old fashioned way. We're just cutting these down. And I did stamp on top of these just to give it another layer of interest, shall we say? Okay, and I don't know where my other tick mark is, so we're gonna do that again. Get my ruler and my thing here, and it should be three quarters of an inch. So we're going to three quarters of an inch We'll slide that in there. See, this does not even lift up. This is really, I don't know, this might not be worth it to kind of get that in there. I'm going to use my little tweezers just to kind of bring it in and down. Oh, you know, you're falling back 10 yards and punting here. I cannot. Okay, you know what? It, forget this. It's We don't want to do that today. So let's go here. Come on. We'll cut that piece off. Don't need that piece. And it kind of ripped a little bit. So, but that's okay because we're going to take that off anyway in a minute. You'll see what I mean. I'm making sure that it does what I want it to do. Okay. And we're going to. Put it there. I'm not going to take that off yet because if I can use it to actually pull that out with. So I can take my scissors and just cut that little bit and that part comes apart. There we go. So now we have our little pieces. There we go. That one doesn't have much on it, but you know, we'll, we'll work with it. Okay. Now we can get rid of that monstrosity, that mess. So the next thing we want to do is to take our piece and cut down the ends. Now you could corner round these. And there are, um, if you watch Margaret's video, where I will put the link down below, uh, she does in fact do some with corners and some with, uh, with, with these angled corners and some with round corners. I'm not going to round corner because my corner rounder, I, even my little corner rounder, still might be a little bit big for this size. She was making much larger tags, so I think it worked better to have a corner rounder for that. But I don't have a very large corner rounder. Now this, I'm only going to do a couple of these. You, you, you're getting the point, I'm sure, pretty quickly here as to how to do this. I used my old Sears credit card in order to do this. I just cut off a piece of the corner of it to use as my template. I have another store card that I use for much larger cuts, but this one just has a little, just needed a little cut. And so I figured we'll just do it that way. Okay. So those are the big ones. We'll do a couple of the little ones here now. So we have those to work with and we're just cutting the ends. This is something that you could easily do while you are watching TV, um, you know, just sitting around in, of an evening or an afternoon, one of those lazy afternoons. Today is, is uh, Maker Monday, so, you know, theoretically I should be working, but this is my job now, so I'm okay with that. I am working. All right, we'll just finish up this one and then uh, we'll gl glue them together and you can see how it goes. Okay, 
So there we go. We have, I've done, I'm not going to do all of these right now on camera because you don't need to sit here and watch me fussy cut. You do have a lot of these left, little things left over and they can make a mess. So we're going to get rid of those for now. Okay, I put my scissors away and put all of these things away, get them off my glue book and bring my glue book over. This is actually pretty easy. I do use a glue stick for this. I use the Elmer's Glue Washable School Glue. There are other glues out there that I know people like, depending upon the country that you're in, depends upon the type of glue that you can get. And we're just going to put this, oh, I don't have it quite right. I'm there like this. Why is that not, that looks a little bit big. I think I maybe cut that a little bit too tall. Okay, real quick. Okay, we're going to pause the video. I'm going to recut this. Okay, restarting. I have recut and I'm glad I stopped anyway because I realized I forgot to do the distressing. I like to do the distressing before I put it on there because that way both pieces can be distressed and what I really like is when you can you have a piece that is uh, let me find one here like this one has a, a pattern on the back of it I don't know if you can see it very well and these these have I know there's a couple different sizes in here the have they have patterns on the on the the strip that I had there's one that was striped and then for these, I just had a piece of plain manila, uh, a strip of manila uh, folder that was left over from something. And I just stamped it and then did that with it. So I encourage you to stamp them. It kind of, like I said, <laughs> oh my glory. Uh, it, you cannot, uh, you just can't make this stuff up, can you? Uh, let's go ahead and distress with a glue stick. I think that's this might be my day to just stop what I'm doing and say, you know what, go watch some videos, go watch a movie. This is just not going to be your day. So you put it on there and now you have a little tag. Let me go ahead and put this one on. God willing, and you know what, you, you see what I forgot to do. Because, you know, it's that kind of day. And this is very flimsy material, very flimsy paper. So as soon as you put the glue on it, it kind of wiggles around. Okay, we're going to just set that down here. Put that on there. Let's go ahead and distress this piece. And I think we might just call it a day. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll put that away. I'm going to close up my ink and my glue before I stick my elbows in them because I'm sure that I would already do that. In the first video, I flipped the, uh, I when I, I did the stamping and I had the stamp upside down on my table. Oh my glory, I made a mess. So these, I'm not, I'm not particularly pleased with how those came out, but this is pretty much what they look like. And then you can add a flower to it you can add um i mean it would be really kind of nice you take something like that put it on there put a little flower in there as well to embellish it and this is why i am not embellishing these today because to me i don't know exactly where i might choose to put something so if i want to include that on there and i can go either way but I like, I happen to like that one on this particular, because it's just a, a pocket that's for a, the, the next project that I'm working on. Um, but depending upon what I'm putting it on, it depends upon whether I'm going, what I'm going to do with it. If I put a flower on here and the flower extends off of it, that might be really appropriate for this, but it might not be appropriate for something else. So I'm, I, I'm just making the bases. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I kind of like that a lot. All right, we might just set that aside and do that later, add some embellishment to it. So this is making labels. No reason why you can't make your own labels. I will put a link to Seven Plaza and Margaret's video as well, where I watched her 
put these together to begin with. And she, like I said, she does a little bit different and she's doing some them very big. I don't didn't want them very big because I need them for more this size. Something of this size rather than, well, maybe that one's better. Uh, something of this size rather than something, she's doing like three inch ones. This is only four inches to begin with. So to put a three inch label on it would be way too big. All right, I am calling it a day. This is uh, my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And uh, I, my, the links to my Etsy store are down below. I do have videos. Uh, I don't have any videos for sale. I have journals for sale. Oh, my glory. I'm going to stop talking now. This is Cindy signing off. <laughs>